Let's chat, shall we? We shall. <laughs> to hear your traffic information, go to your Alexa app and set up your commute. Why no? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing kind of just like a video to update you all on what's been going on. I've been doing a lot of live streams recently on Instagram, which I love doing those. They're so much fun. But when I do those, I get a lot of the same questions. And so I figured that I was getting a lot of those questions. I should probably like include those answers in a video, which brings me to here. Hello, I'm filming that video today. I have a hair in my lipstick. But if you guys are new here, I wanted to remind you guys to stick around by subscribing, hit that bell button so then you are alerted every single time that I post a video and that will be very handy dandy for you. So first things I'm going to talk about, the whole moving situation. Yes, I'm moving. I talked about that before. Where are you moving? And if you guys are, haven't even picked up on this one yet, I'm moving to Nashville, Tennessee. A little bit different than Los Angeles, but to me it's like a little bit similar but a lot different like it's good to be around a city that's focused on the word I'm looking for is creativity and I just genuinely like Nashville Tennessee it's about four hours from where I'm from what you guys don't know is that while I'm here and I love Los Angeles I was spending about $500 for a plane ticket every single time I would go home to visit and over time, that's like a lot of money to be spending on airfare. And in the holidays in general, I was spending about $1,000 for a ticket home. And that's insane. So I was just kind of getting sick of it. I was like, you know, I want to be closer and like driving distance to my family. My family's back in Kentucky. My boyfriend's back in Kentucky. Like all my best friends are back in Kentucky. So it made sense to be somewhere close, but not exactly there. Because to me, I need that space to have my independence and everything like that. So that is why I'm moving. The next question I get a lot is, is Caitlin moving with you? We have always had this goal to live together at one point in our lives. And you know, we never really knew exactly how long that time would be because we had so much fun that summer that we lived together. So we didn't know if it'd be a year, if it'd be two years. We're doing that, we're living together, we're having a blast. We've never fought anything like that. And if anything, it made us closer. But at the same time is she's about to like start a new chapter in her life and I'm about to start a new chapter in mine. While she's not coming with me to Nashville, we're really excited to watch each other grow in that aspect and see, why am I getting teary eyed? I don't, I must be getting like an period or something anyway. We're really excited to see each other develop and you know, do all those life things. Like she's moving in with her boyfriend, which I love him, he's so great. And then, I mean, I'm moving to my favorite city. And as my father said, and my mother said, is that Caitlin and I have always been long distance best friends. And so while we have lived together for a year, things will always be the same. If anything, I'll be more excited to see her. She's not even home right now. I don't even wanna see her. Long story short, no, Caitlin will not be moving with me to Nashville. Next question I get asked a lot is who's your boyfriend and will he be moving with you to nashville i figured i owe this one to you guys to talk about this no my boyfriend at this time will not be moving to nashville with me we've only been dating since like october and so it really wouldn't make sense at this point a lot of people are like why would you move to nashville if your boyfriend is in kentucky and you know that's a very valid question and this is just how i feel when it comes to big life decisions is feel them as a priority. I will visit them, I will, you know, make long distance work, but at the same time, I need to do things for me, and this is one of those things I need to do for myself. But it's not a selfish thing, it is a selfish thing, but at the same time, I'm not willing to give up something that I've looked forward to, all this stuff for not knowing if something's gonna work out in the future. So I'm very big advocate for doing things for yourself, and you know, he is very understanding of this and, you know, he has his own things he's doing um, and I'm very excited to see where things go with that. But for now, he is staying in Cincinnati. If anything changes, I will let you guys know, but he is in Cincinnati. He'll come down to visit me probably like once a month and I'll probably go visit him like once a month. So it works twice a month. And then another question I get is, 
why are you moving out of that apartment that you seemed to love so much at the beginning? This question is so crazy. Like, I don't even know where to get into this. I'm like, should this be its own story time video? Like, I don't really know because it's a little insane. So if you guys didn't know this already, Caitlin and I moved in to this amazingly new complex um, in Los Angeles and we were so excited about it. It was a little bit over our budget, but we were like, you know, the pros outweigh the cons and it's just like, you can't find anything better. Like the lighting's amazing. It's just an amazing location. It's safe, everything like that. However, we have had nothing but issues living here. And I know it's not just us that are facing these issues. It's the entire like residence because it's something we see on like the portal and stuff like that. Like there's just this big wall where people can write on. Let's just say it's not good. So that is why I cannot wait to move out of this complex and stop paying the atrocious amount of money that we throw down the drain every single month to live in this place. I'm very fortunate to live where I do. I think it's an amazing place. It's safe, but it's just bad. So I hope that kind of addressed some of the questions that you guys have had throughout the past few months. I'm so excited to be bringing you guys along my journey. I know you guys will love more moving vlogs. You guys loved them last time and I was just moving like a mile down the road and I just like cannot wait for you guys to see all the tours and stuff that I have in store for you. So if you guys want to stick around and click this thing and you'll be subscribed to my channel and then also check out my previous videos which I am linking one like right here which it's probably like a really really cool video. So you might want to watch it. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!